Yo, what's good y'all? This is Carrington with Producer Grind, and today I got this preview video of this new free master channel preset that we just dropped on the uh, Producer Grind website. It's completely free. We get questions all the time like, yo, how do we uh, make our beats louder? How do I get my beats to really knock? What do I put on my master channel? So what we decided to do is to create a template that you can drag and drop on any FL Studio file, and it'll instantly make your beats louder. Um, it'll make your beats knock louder or knock harder add a little bit of brightness to your uh, mix um, so I'm going to show it off what I have here is a beat that I made using the free lighthouse kit um, loops from the free lighthouse kit pack that or loop pack that we just dropped on the website too it's produced by it's too easy it's got 25 loops 25 30 loops something crazy and then each of the loops is broken down by instrument so you can see right here we have the right here we have the flute we have the keys, we have a bass, we have another flute and string. So you can pick that up for free. So everything in this video is free as far as the presets and the loops. The drums, we also have those on our website. These drums um, are also on our website. So everything in here you can pick up at producergrind.com. Uh, Drum Sauce 2 is the kit that we use. So with that being said, let's go ahead and listen to this beat without. I'm going to turn off um, the preset. And then we're gonna play it, we're gonna compare it with it and without it. So this is with it without it. Loop is super hard too. Alright. So you get the idea of it. What? funny all right so now let's take a listen to it with the mix on so actually i'm going to break it down first so first when you drag and drop all these are these four things are going to um appear these four presets so i'm actually going to go in and delete all of them so you can see what it'll actually look like when you do it so nothing on the master channel the beat we just played then when you drag and drop, so it's going to come in a folder, and then you'll see straight drop master, master leave headroom. Now there's notes to this, so just pay attention to the leave headroom. Drag it, drop it right on top of your master channel, and then these four plugins or these pl these four inserts will come up. There's an EQ, a multiband compressor, a DB meter, and then a notebook. Now, your first step you're going to do is double click on the notebook or click it one time, and we have some instructions. So the first thing you got to do, well, before even dragging and dropping this onto your master channel, you need to make sure your beat is leveled to the best that you can level it. I always recommend leveling it with the volume very low and then in mono so you can make sure it's a, it's a, you have a clean start before you go into mastering. Mastering should be your last step or putting this on your master channel is the last step of your beat. Everything should be leveled first and then you add this on top. So with that being said, with the first instruction say, turn the EQ and the multiband compressor off. Okay, no problem. These are the two things that are going to be doing the mo the majority, uh, they're going to be doing the work in this, um, the master channel preset. So these two, the DB meter and the notebook, they're not doing anything to the sound. Okay, now let's look here. Make sure you have at least 1.5 DB of headroom before the zero mark, before you turn them back on. Leaving headroom enables um, the compressor to work without smashing everything made this preset from scratch all right cool now let's go ahead and look so after you read the notes listen look at the we have a db meter you're going to pull it up if you're an fl20 you can it's a vectorizer so you can expand it take a listen to your beat where the drums come in because that's an important part you don't want it to hit at um not have headroom when the drums come in but have headrooms when they're not there it'll give you it'll mix up your it'll mess up your master so let's take a look perfect it's hitting. I have I have enough headroom. There's about two dB of headroom here, um, so I am in the clear. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a listen. Before this is before, after, before, after. So you can really hear the difference in the low end and also there's a little bit of brightness that's brought into the mix um, with the multiband compressor and then also with the EQ. What the EQ is doing is just rolling off those low lows and those really high highs, things that are kind of inaudible but can also mess up your mix. 
So this is a wonderful tool um, for anybody at all levels. If you're beginning, this is a great way to get your beats louder. If you have a decent mix on your um, on your beats, but you just can't figure out the loudness, this is a good preset to start teaching you how to get it to be louder, how to level it better. Um, again, this is just drag and drop. You gotta leave headroom. So make sure that your beat um, is not mixed like when it's hitting. They should, it shouldn't be hitting down here. This is not enough room. So you don't want to leave way too much room because even with the compressor on, it's still super quiet. So you want to make sure boop, boop, boop. everything is back up. So then when you turn it on, it's just, it's just accenting. It's just complimenting. It's not doing an entire workload of all these faders being turned up so with that being said guys go pick it up we have used the lighthouse pre uh the lighthouse loop kit in this video and then also the um master channel pre stress that are just easy drag and drop onto your beats instantly louder instantly harder hitting and a brightness to the mix all right y'all signing out peace